Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. Welcome back to my channel. Um, earlier, I had said on my community post that I had a video to drop with receipts and you all just some of you um i appreciate my true supporters i really do but um some of you all just jumped to the you know defense you know of what i was going to post didn't even know what i was about to post or whatever but you know i'm gonna need for y'all to um mind your business you know what i'm saying because i'm a grown woman and i'm going to post what i want to post and i know what's going to be um harsh and I know what's not going to be harsh. And I think in the past, I have showed myself that way several times. I know how to speak and articulate. I know how the kind words can turn away wrath. Or they can stir up trouble. So I'm going to need for y'all to stop um, telling me what to say and what to do. And at this point where many of you have said, you know, at this point, keep it. Please don't be on, don't hear looking. Because that means you're the biggest, fattest hypocrite ever. You know, I just simply always say that if you don't like what I post on my channel um, or my community post of anything of mine, don't come. Don't look. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. And yes, it seems like I have that type of attitude um, because I'm aggravated. Yes, I'm aggravated because I'm human. And uh, just because I'm human doesn't mean that I'm not Christian. So I had to say that part because at this point in time, I turned off my comments because um, I'm not going to have my spirit vexed like it is now. And somebody can explain something, you know, all day long. The sky is blue. The sky is blue. But if you want to say it's purple, go right ahead, sweetheart. Go ahead. My video is not pertaining to anything that is going to bash, harm, or destroy um, my daughter. Uh, my video is not even going to touch on the nonsense that is going on now that is going on between Clarence and Tina but this is my what I have to say about the situation pertaining to me and my character and reputation as far as who I am and um how I've showed myself many times in a humble way I have always taken the high road so I don't even know why the disrespect is so damaging. I guess I can say, yeah, to those thoughts, you know, because when you got someone that you trusted and you let in your home and then they come and try to bash your reputation like they did, um, I guess you would feel that way, you know? It's a lot of deceiving people out here that's deceiving many. He said that many false prophets will rise. And a false prophet, I found out, is not someone that um is just telling lies but a false prophet is someone that tells the truth and mix lies with it that's why it's deceiving so i'm thankful unto god um who is my refuge that i always um put him first and i always i'm always going to uplift him to the utmost because he always has my back anyways I'm looking through um, my phone and I, you know, see recordings. I forgot, you know. I recorded um, Sunny TV talking um, to me and Tina on May 9th. I'm going to insert them in the clip um, as I go. Um, they will I'm gonna show them I'm gonna try my best to have my son put this in order But if not, I'm just gonna have it up and in red now I'm breaking it down like this because of the simple fact that she said that she came out here and everything was going good and I changed on her at the last minute and um, began to yell at her and bash my daughter and she did not know Basically, I was that type of person to sum it all up. I saw all the lies, the posts that she wrote about me and my family. 
when we were nothing but nice to her. And um, I'm going to tell you all that her uh, visit here was not to fly out to bash Queen Naja. And I'm going to say and, and be safe to say that her visit was not to come out here and set me up. But I will say this. Um, I don't have proof of this, but I do feel like there was a change in her whole attitude the day before she left and the day that she left out. The way she left was very strange. It was like a whole nother person, but I'm going to get into that. Um, Sunny TV was a, a channel that she didn't have that many views, so that's why many people did not know her. When they was like, may I ask who was this, you know. But however, you know, um, she used to bash me really bad. She used to bash my family. Um, she said she didn't say anything about Tina, but I'm hearing later on, yes, she did. She called Tina all kind of fat, this and that. But it was mainly me that she was after. She was a T-channel for my daughter, Queen. Um, she used to go hard for Queen. Like she said, I go hard for Queen. I, I go hard for Queen. You know, yeah, she's not lying. If you pull up videos, I don't know if she deleted them or whatever she said that she did, but she went hard for my daughter. You know, she uplifted my daughter as if, you know, one of the worshipers, you know, because that's what I call them, worshipers. You know, anything that you idolize more than God, you're worshiping them. But anyways, um, so um, I did not invite a, a T-channel into my home that bashed my daughter. I invited a T-channel in my home that stuck up for my daughter. So there right there is a point that I'm making. It wasn't me on some toxic stuff. And I made that point for a reason. Um, one day out of the blue, Tina came and told me that Sunny TV had Instagram call her and started to apologize to her about how she bashed me. And she said, I wanted to apologize to you, Tina, because I, I, I bashed your family. I bashed your mom and your grandmother. And I just want to apologize to you, Tina. Okay. Now I'm saying, I ain't going to lie. I did take some videos down, but I want you to know that I apologize. Tina then told her, I'm sorry. I, I ain't even watched none of your videos like that because I, I ain't going I didn't know who you was or whatever, but my mom would tell me about you. And um and so she had apologized or whatever. And I guess after that she kept contacting Tina. Tina would tell me, you know, Sunny TV called me, which kind of raised the eyebrow because I'm like, you know, like at this point, you know, you know, why is she, you know, reaching out to Tina so much is, you know, her being 30 and Tina being 19, but I mean, hey, you can't put age on it sometimes. So, you know, Tina pretty much, um, you know, she, she's a good reader. She, she, she'll read you, you know, so I'm not really thinking about, you know, Tina getting hoodwinked or anything like that. I'm just thinking of that, you know, mm, you know, in my, my mind as a mom, you know, and so, um, it was just a lot of things that was um, shared with Tina concerning the situation that was going on with, you know, Queen and Clarence. She said that she started to see some things. And so the video that um, Tina had posted when she apologized to Clarence, I talked about some of this in my life. But sometimes, y'all, you know, you just have to break things down. The only reason why I'm coming back this route because I do have receipts this time. Okay. Um, she, she stated that, um, you know, when, when, when she had, uh, you know, made the video apologizing to Clarence, she then told, after she saw that she got bashed and Queen's comment and everything that had blew it up and really got her bashed, um, she, she called Tina and told her, don't apologize no more to, you know, that's it. You, I, I've started, I tried to root for them at this point. I'm starting to see different. So yeah, this is why I fell back off of them. Okay. Um, the, the, the conversation didn't continue like that. It was just on and off, on and off, you know? And then, um, I had found out some things, um, from another reaction channel or a T channel that, you know, um, they were, you know, by me talking to them and getting to know them that they knew Clarence and Queen. This let me say the spicy management family that they knew them and I 
kind of felt some type of way because I was like, wow. So you knew, you know, them and you went places with them and certain things were done for you. But I was getting bashed by you at that time. That was a time frame, you know. I'm going to get off that subject. Anyways. That's that T channel. But anyways, so prior to um, them speaking, uh, her and Sunny TV, Tina and Sunny TV, um, the conversation got started by me, I'm going to be honest. Since I knew the source I just told you about, like, wow, really? Blew my mind. I'm getting bashed by you, but you hanging with my, okay. Um, I then told Tina, I said, um, text Sunny TV. And, and tell her, since she's talking to you, tell her, say, I know your source. So Tina texted her and was like, I know your source. So she then called back and was like, what are you, what you talking about? What you mean? What, what, what source? She said, I just want to ask you something. Because did you have a source? Was there a source why you were bashing my mother like you was? Like, was there anybody behind you telling you? to say these things and the things that you said about my mom. Like, why would you just abruptly just kept picking on my mom like you did? Because she was really cutthroat with me. She was coming for me, you know. And um, she was like, no, you know, and such and such and such. And um, no, she was like, I just, you know, it was for the money, you know. She was saying that she got a bunch of money for bashing me, you know. So she found out that she was getting paid good for it. And she was like, oh, you know, she said a lot of Queens fans would DM her and tell her, um, please, Sonny, react to it. Please react to it, react to her. So at this time, she was like, she was just doing what the money paid, you know. And um, so she said that she would bash me. She also spoke this same testimony in front of my church. Um, she told it in front of everybody. So I do have plenty of witnesses there too. And um, so, so then that night we started talking uh, on the phone when she was talking to Tina and after she she went in to tell Tina some things like yeah you know she's she's heavy on the YouTube thing she watches she'll sit back and watch YouTube all day which the things that she accused me of kind of puzzled me and made me angry because I'm just not the type of person and me and Tina told her this that we ain't the type of person that sit back and watch other YouTubers I mean everybody who knows me knows that I run the streets they even have to tell me Reba you need to stay home sometimes because I'm gone 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 and I'm not really a TV person, so a lot of people know me. The only time I watch YouTube is when I'm watching my own stuff or I'm watching my kids. Um, I pretty much am not the type to sit back and watch every everybody else. So I'm saying this because she was watching everybody else. And the, she took up the TV time with YouTube or was roly-poly for her daughter. So... I didn't get to watch TV like that, but I didn't mind because like I said, I wasn't a TV watch. Let me get back on the subject. So when they were talking on the uh, phone that night, she, she began to um, share some stuff about uh, certain YouTubers and then it got on the subject of Queen. This was May 9th. I have the dates that's going to be inserted uh, there at the top of this recording that I have of her talking. And um, it didn't sound like that she was very friendly to me when it came to Queen and Clarence, okay? What she telling you? Right. Mm -hmm. They did have CJ Pat on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They right. did have CJ Pat on. Hold on. I'm checking but the message real quick. She knows who I am because I was, I was in that same group chat. And she be talking. They be talking to her, at her like, Queen, da 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 Queen, da 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 Fabriac will tell you shit. Wow. 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 I ain't got life. She's trying to talk your divide. That's what not even I don't even believe it's clean. It's clearance. And and the reason why I recorded her is because you're calling my daughter. And I don't know why you're calling my daughter and you're really not dealing with me, but you call my daughter to apologize to her for me you call her and say tell i'm sorry that i bashed your mom you never once said can i talk to your mom because I, I you know you think she'll you know get mad or if, if i say something or you know if i apologize to her she never once even tried to go that route but she stuck with tina which kind of like i said you know raised my eyebrow a little bit like what's what's going on what's she trying to do with tina you know and um so she started to talk 
and share stuff with Tina. So I butted in to, and said, let me talk to her. So we began to talk and she didn't know I was sitting there in the car with Tina because we called her inside the car. Okay. And, um, so like I said, her conversation was not so friendly. So I am telling you this because this is when I told y'all I vented to my daughter. She said, I bashed my daughter. I left some parts in there of me saying what I was saying and then her saying what she was saying. Mind you, um, we talked on the phone to like, for like six hours. It was like a six hour conversation, but the clip is so long. One is an hour. And the other one is uh, 21 minutes, but they're cut very short because of what things that were said of me venting. And I'm only saying this not because I'm ashamed of what I said. Um, I'm going to prove that I was not bashing. I was not talking and hurt to her in a bashing uh, way as if I was harming or I was angry or I was envious and jealous and I was cursing my daughter. It's not. It was just me pouring out like I always do. And everybody who knows me knows that Reva be venting, Reva vents, but they know what way in terms that I speak about my daughter. So I left that in there. But however, it's very short of what I was saying because then if I was to leave the clip in there of what we was talking about, like I said, it would, you could hear the conversation and it's already, it's already hot out here. You know what I mean? So, um, then you would say that I'm bashing her because you don't need to hear the conversation. So I'm guarding the conversation really to protect my daughter still. Leave that queen. And, and, and this is the only, I, this is not to, this is just the, I'm a tough truth saying the devil. I don't believe queen is, I believe queen is embarrassed, put it like that, by you. I really do. Yeah. And I don't think that you and Queen, I don't, I, I, the problem between you and Queen, and you know, Tina, me and you have talked about this. Yeah. We've talked. You know what? And you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I said, he never said nothing because at the end of the day, family is family. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Queen is embarrassed by you. Queen wish she had a sister that looked like her. Queen wish she had somebody to be like, oh, this is my sister. But see, here's the thing. With, with you, I, I also believe because you are so strong. You are stronger than your sister. Um, you're more resilient than your sister. You are, and like I told you, I say, I, I told you this, Tina. You know, I say you're special. I say you need to stop looking at yourself as just queen sister. I told say her you, that. Need to just stop, you need to stop putting yourself in that, that category because you are you. I told and her one that. Thing about and, and, and one thing about you, Tina, that, and, and this is not to conquer the vibe, <laughs> but this is to let you know your worth. One thing about you, you're not going to sacrifice your mama. You're Amen. not going to throw your family members under, your, under the bus. You may have your discrepancies about your family, but at the end of the day, you have one thing that Queen may not have. And, and by default, and that's loyalty. Mainly, I wanted you to hear her talking and, and, and participating in uh, what she was saying. Then Tina began to talk to her on a spiritual level, which she shared some things that were personal that went on in her life. Now, I'm not the type of person to get on here and bash people like I do and dispute a business all over like that. I can, but I'm not that type of person. And y'all know that I'm not, you know, I'm gonna need for some of y'all kids to go play and y'all grown women, you know, to grow up because y'all really at this point childish and it's nerve wracking. I don't block your comments or, or d block my comments off because I'm scared of what y'all saying to me. It's cringy at this point though. It's, it's very cringy how closed-minded you all are. Okay. But like I said, I'm gonna get back on my video. Um, May 9th was a conversation. Y'all gonna see in the clips. Um, that she flew in. Everything was fine. Met her at the airport. Went straight to Walmart. After that, she wanted something to eat. Um, got something to eat, did our usual thing. Um, she met with my apostle, apostle wanted to talk to her. I got text messages of that stating that, um, you know, I'm out and about. Um, I was really uncomfortable with her in my home alone, but I trusted her and I left. Um, but cause I had things to do. Like I said, I'm not a person that sits still. And, um, so I said, apostle, uh, wants to, you know, have a meeting with her because she wanted to counsel with her. She came on a spiritual tip. 
And so um, I have the text messages for that. Also, the clips of her at the altar, um, uh, her, you know, being prayed for, her being baptized, and her going down uh, uh, at another time in the baptism. Now, a lot of people say, well, why did she have to get baptized twice? Well, you know, I explained that situation and no, some of y'all not going to understand because y'all not, you know, in the truth or some of you are not even saved at all. Y'all in the world say I'm not going to understand um, the world of Christianity. Let me put it like that. Um, it was based on the doctrine. It was my first time to see someone baptized at the church that I am going to. Um, because of the simple fact that they always say the apostolic doctrine and so I was like okay and I hear the oneness in it some of you know what I'm talking about when I say that but the baptism was not the oneness the the baptism sounded like um, the trinity you know um, you can't slice God into three you know so the doctrine to me wasn't right for the baptism that I heard them take her down and not to throw shade at the church I'm just saying what I believe in and what you know they believe in is somewhat different and you know contradicting into what the Bible says so that was my first time of her or me even witnessing a baptism there so she went down in the Father Son and the Holy Ghost and all in Jesus name I didn't feel quite right I felt like um mm, that's that's not the right doctrine so then i made arrangements i do have the uh text where um i then text um bishop um combs and and asked him would he uh be willing to baptize her i asked her first would she be willing to get baptized again and she said yes so then i um text him and of course he was ready for it because it's truly truly what we believe in as far as the baptism we're not saying that the baptism saves you but it is a part of the cleansing of the repentance then the baptism in Jesus name and then the filling of the Holy Ghost and then that's what makes you whole you cannot do half of it that's what the part of the baptism for and that is the reason why that she got baptized twice I had to make sure it was right before she went back because I didn't want her to go back um, with not the mission accomplished what we called for her uh wanted her here to do so i don't think it was a setup for her at the beginning saying you know we want to uh, i'm gonna come out there and i'm gonna um set up queen's family it's not truth because um tina asked for her to come she was talking about um sage and crystals and tina was telling her that that was wrong and she you know, sent scriptures and she saw, uh, saw the scriptures and she then went into detail or I mean she researched it and found out that the word of God is true. So um, after she began to tell Tina and I what she had been through as a child, which was very, you know, eh, at this point, she needed a spiritual vacation, Tina said. So when Tina said, you need a spiritual vacation, we're talking to her on the phone, sync in the car. No one's holding the phone, it's just on the speaker in the car. Tina said, you need a spiritual vacation and you need to come here. Well, I then looked over at Tina and the phone went mute for a minute. I'm like, she can't, Tina, you can't do stuff like that. Mama, she, she you gotta trust, you know, this, this the Lord as well, I believe this. So I'm going to stop right there. It was truly innocent why she came. It was really for a spiritual cleanse. That's what I do. I witness to people. Um, I'm on my channel every Saturday. It's nothing brand new. Um, I pray on my channel um, because um, the Lord told me to. Um, when I came out of prayer um, one day, um, I heard a small still voice say, do prayer on your channel go live on Saturdays that wasn't the devil telling me that so I'm like you know what I heard that voice and I know it's the Lord I'm gonna obey that voice and thank God I did because there is people that come to my live I may get like a hundred or maybe up to 150 people um depending um 
lately it was maybe a uh, drama so that's why it was like a lot of people on there which is sad but i hopefully hopefully can convert somebody over to not come for the drama and maybe that changed their mind maybe they wanted to fill me out maybe they wanted to see what type of person i am so i uh, i mean so i try to be as transparent as i can be because you know i'm who i am you know what i'm saying and just because i get upset or I have my opinions on certain things or my thoughts the way things maybe should be done that does not make me not who I am. You, you can't, you know, say, well, she's not a Christian, she's fake. You can say what you want to say, but I know who I am. I know who God says I am. So that's, I'm not going to stop, you know, my, my channel. But actually, I'm on here for the simple fact, which is the main reason why I come here. I wanted to clear my name in that area and show you proof because I'm not one really for talking. I don't like to go back and forth because like I said, people want to believe what they believe and I just don't got time. So if I got proof and I can, um, you know, just nip it in the bud, then, you know, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Now I felt like she ripped my character. She ripped, um, everything that I stand for and everything that I did, she made people believe that I was false all along. Um, God is not real. See, people ain't real. And like I said, she's going to have to pay a big price for that because you stepped in the work of God. You know, um, I have done nothing but been nice to you. I have done nothing but open my door. I opened my doors, my home up to you. I trusted you. Even times when you said to me, you know, um, don't don't it's okay you can you you can vent it's all right you know i understand your pain and you even went to you know add your input on how you felt you know and i'm not going to even have to go into talk the clip's going to speak for itself you know and you were that here you know and then to lie on me and say you coach tina and i coach tina or whatever and into what to say when actually tina has her own mind and she can speak her own words um you heard me say around here i didn't want to be involved in this these are my two girls going at it um you painted the picture as if you were me and i was you you ran out of here and acted like, you know, I, I, I'm scared. Oh, my God, these, these people are so terrible. But then when I heard the Tea Room channel, it kind of struck me like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just got to, I hope to God, I'm going to say it like this. I hope to God that it is not no truth to what was said as far as me being set up and you being paid by Clarence and well, let me just say the spicy management. I pray to God that is not the case because I'm gonna tell y'all something. You reap what you sow. You don't know what you did when you done that. You know, you tried to get people. Um, I witness for God because I love him. Uh, I, I win souls. That's what I'm supposed to do. We are called to be witnesses. And if he told me to do a work and you got in it and threw a monkey wrench, then you allowed the devil, your daddy, to uh, mess up what I, what I, what God is doing and working in me. And that you have to pay for. You know, um, I'm not um, putting any curses on you. But like I said, you know, um, I don't curse. We are to bless. He said, bless and not curse. So I, I'm not, but I'm, 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 I'm speaking facts. I'm speaking word. You know, what you do unto others will be done to you. You know, and you're going to have to read that. You're going to have to read that. And what's so sad is you didn't want to because you said, I, I, I would dare not go back and turn on you. I would dare not. But you were so fidgety the day before. You know, it kind of made me believe that I hope to God, like I said, that that setup was 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 a false i don't want to believe it y'all i really don't want to believe that because this girl was fine all week um text messages um we went out to eat um we stayed home we cooked we went shopping we laughed like we was a family i trusted her you know um and she um hung around it we came we hung around a church um she got to meet um you know, uh, some of the saints in the church, um, the talks that we had, she made it look like I spoke so ill against the church when it was a three-way conversation in the car with me and Tina and her. And we was just 
stating like simple things, not bashing nobody or dogging nobody out, but you know, talks that y'all shouldn't have to explain, I shouldn't have to explain on here. You know, like she went tit for tat about every little thing, you know, like this one, you know, um, you know, I have to go into detail, you know, it was like she, I, I, certain people, uh, you know, they ministered to you and they was kind of off a little bit about a prophecy and like, oh, I don't feel like that was right. And, you know, and she engaged in the conversation as well. It just wasn't no long draw it out. We speaking ill on a church and all this type of stuff. It was some things that she was sharing with us. That was her experiences that she was telling us about. But it seems like her last day here was very odd to me. And this is the reason why I say, I hope this was not a setup. We were all supposed to go get something to eat. And I came out the bathroom. I went to wash some dishes. She came over to me and she said, I want to take your car and go get something to eat. And she said it in a way like it was real, like, you know, she didn't want Tina and Terrell to hear it. Cause like, well, we were supposed to go to get something to eat. I know, but I got to run to Kroger's. I got to get her some milk. Can I take your car? So I let her drive my car. Um, yeah, I opened my doors to her, man. I, I let her grip my band so many times. You know, I act funny or nothing. You know, oh we. It just hurts when you just, anyway, let me get back. So, um, when she used my car, she said that she was going to Pop Belly's restaurant. Uh, about 30 minutes went past. She called and said, I just want you to know what I'm doing. I'm in Pop Belly's. The line is too, it's so long here. I'll probably end up going down the street to Ma's Pizza. I said, okay. Then an hour went past. And then it was like, oh, my piece is so long. So at this point, I'm just going to go to Kroger's. I said, well, at this point, this cash after the kids' money back, and I'll send Terrell to go get something to eat because everybody hungry up in here. And you, it's like you, that's rude to take somebody's car and just be gone, you know. But it, it, it seems like to me, you know, when she came in, she, Kroger's, it, that was a long haul too. So it's almost like she was gone like two hours. She came in here with some Arby's. Hmm. She thought I didn't. I pay attention to every little thing. You know, but she came in with Arby's even though, you know, she hit the pop, you know, whatever she did. But she acted very strange when she came in. She was different. It was like as though something bothered her. She put it on a, um, a, 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 a reaction channel that Fat Reacts. And she came in talking about, oh, Fat Reacts. Um, she lying on me. She gonna lie on me. And it's like she was just making up some stuff at this point. But I wasn't catching on. So I'm thinking like. That really bothers you, you know? She said, yeah, she, you know, she gonna lie on me. She, it's like she jealous because I'm here with y'all. I, I, I shut down my Twitter. I shut down my Instagram. She was this real antsy about stuff. And I'm like, man, Tina, looking at her, she crying like, I, gotta get a, I don't wanna do it, y'all. I just don't wanna do it. I wanna smoke a blunt, but I ain't gonna. I said, no. And then I said, do you wanna pray? I was like, we ain't, don't, don't let the devil make you do that. You was doing good. You know, we encouraging her. They encouraging, encouragement, you know, and, um, so it didn't, you know, actually she, she went up, she went up the stairs. I guess she got kind of off the subject when we was like, t told her to calm down, but she acted real. Like she was, I mean, I know I'm not crazy, but when I look at somebody, it's as if she was in the valley of decision about some things like, oh, should I do it? Oh, what I got to do? Oh, shoot. She looked like she wanted to leave then, you know, but you know, anyway, th that, that, that had died down. And later on that night, it's like she picked the smallest argument. And as I look back on it, after I heard the T channel saying that, I'm going, dang, this is kind of ma making sense. Because the T channel said that, you know, someone went back and said um, she, you know, was paid. Uh, they, they found out when she was at my house that um, Tamika supposedly had called her. And, and and told her, you know, to hurry up and make, make Queen and them family look bad, make it look like she's bashed, and then hurry up and get out of there. Now, the part that got me was, because I can't prove all that, it's the part that she stayed gone at that store that long, and that was very odd how she came back, like, fidgety, like she was this, oh, what well, should I do it? Should I? Shouldn't. Should I do it? Should I? That's, that's how she was acting. And then how she left, put the icing on the cake. You know, it was like, you picked this argument with Tina and it was a small, such as a small argument. Like you don't, uh, y'all talking to that pastor. Oh my God, you fake Tina. She, she knows that Tina will pop off and say something smart. So she started, you know, getting upset at this time. Me and Tina left 
and went and got something to eat. Being cordial with her still, I said, you know, Tina asked her, do she want something to eat? Because by this time, I'm trying to avoid an argument in my house. You know, there is people that stay below uh, us. And my house was very disrespected, I felt like, because you don't come in somebody else's house and, you know, yell. And, you know, they already was yelling prior to um, another time, uh, another argument, maybe about four days after that, but all that was squashed or whatever. And um, it was just a lot of manipulation going on, you know. I knew it was manipulating tactics, you know, but me trying to keep the peace, like, chill, this chick in our house, you know, I didn't know she was like this. I didn't know she was that emotional. Um, she tried to manipulate by, you know, she didn't like what Tina was saying, and so she picked that argument, it's, it, it, an argument so small as far as to why she you know, was upset with Tina about talking to her pastor. The man is fake, blah, blah, blah. Tina said that's the way she handles things. She just don't be mean to people and all that type of stuff. But her and her pastor has a relationship like that. And then I looked at her and was like, why does that bother you so much about who she's on the phone with? And I didn't understand it, but now it makes sense because I was looking at her and was like, this does not make no sense. So when we got back on our way out to, like I said, to grab something to eat, um, she texted Tina and was like, um... I hope you, I'm assuming that you're talking about me, and if it is, I hope it's good. Tina was like, Mama, see, it's stuff like this. What's wrong with her? I said, at this point, don't even respond back, Tina. I don't want no mess in my house. The lady leave tomorrow. Just, you know, let it be peaceful until she go, you know, till I drop her at the airport. Her flight was at 7.15 p.m. Um, Queen did not pay for her flight. Her flight was already set um two days prior so i already knew what the date and the time was so that was already set up you know and her husband paid for the flight i was there when he was he, no she got her money she was waiting till she got her money came on her car thursday night so she had money you know and um so it was like <clears throat> Just keeping it cool, she, she came downstairs and she said she wanted to talk to me. I was open to talk to her because I did not want her leaving um, angry because I'm thinking you're supposed to have came for a spiritual, you know, cleanse. You're supposed to came for salvation. You shouldn't be going back upset. She did say that when I first got here, I had a good time, but now I didn't have a good time. And I was like, well, oh, I'm sorry that you feel that way. And I'm thinking over a conversation with Tina in the kitchen. So she goes, um, well... I, and I'm going I'm to take the videos down too. And I'm like, okay, take the videos down. But I said in my life, I guess because of videos, she was saying something nice about me. But that's not what it was. It's actually because she confronted Tamika. I forgot. She confronted Tamika um, TV and said that you a T-channel because um, and Clarence went out to eat with you. So she took that down. And that clicked. Like, oh, that's why she took that down. Because now it's. I don't know y'all it, it, it just was seeming to click to me you know what I'm saying and um so she said I'm taking it down I shook my shoulders like that's your business that's your channel this is my channel you know I'm gonna take them none of my videos down you know and so um and she was like well and I'm gonna go back and um you know what I'm saying I'm gonna do what I do you know what I'm saying because Tina Tina made me mad she I'm not no child she disrespect me I'm an elder but you flew all the way here for Tina you said I'm here for Tina not you but you flew all the way here for a child right yeah okay so at that time I'm just agreeing with her like okay okay you know at this point Tina comes downstairs because she hears the manipulation from upstairs and I was like mama come on because at this point you know, so I'm telling Tina, look, calm down. Tina getting hyped. No, nah, because I, I see manipulation. I ain't stupid. Tina, calm down or whatever. Then Sonny jumps up, look at me crying, and runs up the stairs. Next morning, make a long story short, I'm texting her. The bedroom door is closed. And I'm like, what time are you? Are you? Am I still taking you to the airport? Because I noticed, you know, she didn't come out the room. Usually she's downstairs sitting on the couch watching YouTube. Um... I text, she didn't answer. I noticed that it didn't go through as delivered, so I figured maybe her phone is off, she's still asleep, but come to find out, she had blocked me. So I'm sitting, me and Tina talking two hours downstairs, lollygagging or whatever. It's like 3.30. I was like, let me go on upstairs and get ready because at this point I'm getting ready to make sure my day is, because once I get dressed, y'all, and I leave out my house, I'm not coming 
back to where I live. I'm out and I'm not back and forth here. Cause when I go out, I go out a ways, you know? And so I asked, uh, text her again. So she didn't answer. So we went upstairs to get dressed. Me and Tina, so I'm going upstairs to get dressed. And by this point in time, we whispered like, she's still asleep, you know? Like, well, Tina, just go in this room at this point. Go in the room and just ask her, am I taking her? You know, because she really, you know, acting like she upset. Tina goes in the room. She's not there. Sheets are off Tina's bed on the floor. All her stuff was gone. She did not say goodbye. Thank you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. Um, none of that took place. And I didn't understand why did she leave like that in a way that she did, which was not normal. Because I didn't do anything to her. You know, but you know, you can't come in somebody's house and tell them how to be in their home. You know, and I even tried to tell her that I was like, maybe at home, your temperature is 72 degrees as far as temperament, but we hype people. So in my house, it may be 91 degrees. We may laugh loud. We may talk loud. We may get hype. We may, you know, we talk with our hands. You know what I'm saying? That's part of that Italian in me. I talk a lot with my hands, but that's how I am. You cannot get mad at me or Tina or Terrell. If Tina was saying that she's aggravated, she'd want to be talked to, then, you know, leave, leave somebody alone when they're aggravated. Like, well, I don't think that's disrespectful. You should, you know, somebody's talking, you should, shouldn't act like that and make them feel like that. Well, she didn't make you feel like that. She told you several times, listen, I'm aggravated and I don't want to take it out on you. So I'm just being quiet. It's like, she didn't even have a right to be quiet. That bothered you. Everything you cried about, she wasn't lying. It was just emotional. It was an emotional wreck. You know, he was just an emotional mess. And for you to leave my home as good as we've been, and I looked past your flaws and everything that you said about me, I had to be a forgiving person to let you come in my home. Because I'm trying, not trying, but I am showing the love of Christ. I was showing the love of Christ. You bashed me. You bashed me for no reason. But I forgave you, and I let you come to my home. And I wanted you to find salvation because I wanted you to feel this great God that I feel, that, that, that I know how he is. I wanted you to know the God that I know. And you trashed me. You bashed me. And you got all these people out here thinking, she's so far, she fake or whatever. I'm not, it's not, the devil is a lie. I'm not going to stop my channel. I'm not. I'm not going to stop prayer life. I'm not going to stop obeying God. And I know this is, this is the enemy because, you know, when you're obeying God, the devil mad. The devil don't feel good about none of this. This is why all of this is going on. This is why all of this stuff is happening. Because the enemy it, then got in it. You know, God, you, the enemy is never going to be happy about a soul won to Christ. And then you turn around and misrepresented a God and made it look like, you know, I, I ain't feel nothing. Everything wasn't right. And then you try to turn around and the scriptures and everything that you were taught here, the short time that you was here, you try to turn around and use scriptures against us. That's not how the, wor the word of God works. God works in love. You know, we don't take and fight each other with, with scriptures and twist it up and run to God like, you know, oh, God, forgive me. Uh, and, and then kind of bash me again and lie on me and say the Lord, forgive me. Oh, it's this woman is so wrong. Oh, it was just so awful. But I was led to record you that night. I was led to record you. You was just talking and something just said, Could put, just back yourself up. And I thank God I did. I thank God that I did. Because look, and then I, I didn't even know, I, I forgot I had them in there. So when y'all hear short clips, cause I screen recorded over, like I said, most of the majority of the conversation, I was venting to her. I left some of me in there because I want you to hear how I was venting, that it was not out of pain and anger and hate. But I was simply venting out of pain, trying to get some understanding. Because here's a person that reached out once again, that said, you know, I, I see where y'all coming from now. That would make somebody, yes, that would make somebody open up. You got somebody that used to bash you and be like, I, I, I see what you're talking about. I understand. Like, whoa, whoa. Whoa unto you. You, you look really, really bad. And God is not pleased with you at all. Just like he's not pleased with most of um, a lot of things that we do. But what you did, you did deliberately. And I'm not going to say those were your intentions when you first came here. But I do believe in the end, I'm sorry, it just felt like you were 
paid at this point because the way you did act and the way you left and the way you changed and then you got and you bashed me. You did just with that, 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 that T channel, whatever the, 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 uh, the uh, message said you was going to do. You did. It did happen like that. I don't have no proof, but the way you left, it makes me think it did. So you are the reason why I will never, ever be a foolish woman again, that I will never be unwise again and invite a complete stranger in my home. That if I witness to somebody for God, because it was my mission, God knows my heart. And anybody that knows me knows my heart. They know how I am. And I'm not going to reach out and just to, for some mess. I'm not a messy person. I don't care how y'all make me look. He will avenge me. He's going to avenge me in the end. He's already done it. So everything that's going on now, stop coming at me. Stop coming at me. I'm, I'm here. I've set my peace. I've given you receipts. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.